once Joe Biden had finished speaking, I was left wondering how Fox was was going to respond to it. Um, and of course, they're going to be critical of him, but some on the network had to at least admit that it was better than what it had been presented it was going to be. So here's a mashup of a couple of the different Fox News reactions immediately following the speech. Look, I, the other night I said that Michelle Obama stuck the landing. I think keeping with that theme that Joe Biden just hit a home run in the bottom of the ninth, which I think I got that right in terms of the sports. He had pace, rhythm, energy, emotion, and delivery. So I think that if he looks back, he's got to say that's probably the best speech of his life. And he really just took the moment. And I, I love that. Now, there was. I thought it was an enormously effective speech. Remember, Donald Trump has been talking for months about Joe Biden as mentally shot, a captive of the left. And it, I guess Biden was reading from a teleprompter and a prepared speech, but I thought that he blew a hole, a big hole in that characterization. It seems to me that after tonight, Donald Trump is gonna have to run against a candidate, not a caricature. Uh, the Democrats have had a good convention. Now it's the Republicans turn. Okay, so look, Chris Wallace has been fairly critical of Donald Trump in comparison to other Fox hosts, so bear that in mind. Um, and he can say now Trump is gonna have to run against a candidate rather than a caricature, but Trump is gonna do what he's gonna do. And he's gonna try to make those same things stick. I just think that it is less realistic that that will work. If Biden ends up giving the, the, that same sort of performance at the debate, you know, relatively keeping it together, the expectations have been set so low that it's gonna come off looking like a win for him. Yeah, that is the expectation, you're absolutely right. And I would just, it's a slight distinction, maybe without a difference, but the reality is created by Fox. The reality for the right is created by Donald Trump and Fox News, and there is a struggle there. So Trump will absolutely do what he's gonna do, but in terms of creating that reality in the viewer's eyes, like with the Dana Perinos, the Chris Wallace's are are able to shift people's opinions at the margins. And in a in a layout like we have in America, where you can be up by eleven nationally and it's a squeaker till the end, mm -hmm. like those margins matter. Yeah. Yeah, it does. And so I, I was a bit surprised by uh, Dana Prino there, both that, I, like, I would expect Chris Walsh to say something like that. I didn't necessarily expect Dan, Dana Prino. I was more surprised by the fact that she talks about sports metaphors the exact same way that I do. I, that, that stood out to you, but. I'm not even gonna go remotely close to that. <laughs> um, I make the same sort of self deprecating jokes, I mean. But anyway, this morning, um, I thought this was a great headline. I couldn't watch. What are you gonna say? I was just gonna say, like, she's a bushy. Like, Mm -hmm. She's a Bush person and she was a Bush communications director. So mm -hmm. a couple things there. She's like, let's get back to quote, caring about like the way this place looks. And for her, it's not just the presidency that's been tarnished in her eyes. It's it's the pul it's the pulpit or whatever, the, the podium yeah. at the pressers that's been tarnished in her eyes. Watching Kaylee McEnany go out there. Like she's from the Ari Fleischer, uh, Dana Perino time where you just didn't say anything mm -hmm. and and you kept it close to the vest and you didn't look like an idiot you kind of just look like a jerk and mm -hmm. you, she would rat and and people are looking like idiot jerks up there right now and she, <laughs> and she doesn't like that so that's yeah. probably what part of the reason why she's saying what she's saying it might be yeah and and look that's that's a lot of what Biden is trying to do tell people um, look whatever whatever you preferred about the previous time we're going to give you some of that um, now, this morning, uh, Fox and Friends uh, apparently played a mashup of positive media coverage of Joe Biden's DNC speech because one of the narratives is that everybody's too easy on him. But then they had to concede that it was a good speech. So, somewhat undercutting their argument. Although, I don't know, Brett, if you saw Pete Hegseth's like, like a Biden's talking about light versus dark. And sure, there's Marianne Williamson vibes to that, saying, what does that make Trump like Darth Vader? And isn't Comrade Cortez the Jedi? <laughs> he just is like, I uh, I just got a free trial for Disney Plus, so I'm kind of going through all He's the stuff. Catching up. Movies. That's all it is. Um, yeah, and look, dude. Okay, I get that you're trying to sort of imply that you're tapped into pop culture, or whatever. But it was Brad Parscale that was talking about the Death Star, and you guys thought it, thought it was so funny when Trump was Thanos. Now you're like trying to spin that on a guy who didn't even say that. Also, Jedi's are cool, man. Yeah, you just called her the super duper cool. 
it's the coolest thing. It's right up there with superheroes. Anyway, yeah, so look, it's gonna be interesting to see. I'm assuming that, look, Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity are not going to continue that sort of like, no, he actually did okay. They're not gonna say that obviously. But it'll be interesting to see if Laura Ingram from last night to today, if she significantly changes the way that she talks about it. I would expect that she would. There was a, I think it was a Vanity Fair piece or like a Brian Stelter thing explaining essentially why you won't see that at Hannity. And it's Hannity does think that Trump's nuts. That's what it's been reported. I did see that. Staffers have been saying that Hannity knows that Trump's crazy. He just is like, I don't know, I know where my bread's buttered. Mm-hmm. And that's it. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's all those suspicions seemingly confirmed. Yeah, I just, I, I hope that Trump sees that. We'll see. We don't know. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.